India's geography and climate make it prone to a host of natural disasters. Floods, droughts, cyclones, earthquakes and landslides are recurrent phenomena. These disasters kill thousands of citizens and destroy millions of rupees worth of property and assets. It is of vital importance that we reduce and manage disaster risk. Indigenous science and technology can play a big role in reducing risk. In helping us handle each disaster with internal resources. In making us more self-sufficient. The great Himalayan ranges, majestic in their beauty, but home to an increasing number of disasters. Earthquakes, avalanches and floods. This trend in natural disasters seems to be going up. Factors contributing to this include climate change, thoughtless development in the region and a growing population. It is clear that massive efforts have to be mounted together with sound scientific strategies for mitigation if we are to deal better with disasters. The Aryabhata Research Institute of Observational Sciences, ARIES, located in Nainital in the foothills of Himalayas, has been studying the changing weather patterns in the Himalayan belt by closely monitoring the atmospheric conditions. Uh, there was a huge uh, cloud burst a few years back in Himalayas. So we need to have a better understanding about why such a huge uh, sudden formation of the clouds and if such formation of the clouds and then the, the burst, uh, then what are kind of the kind of disasters that it can lead to. So that, uh, you know, uh, demands a basic understanding of the cloud formation itself. So that way our regular observations during the rains, during the clouds, during the thunderstorms gives us very, very valuable input. To monitor all the conditions effectively, ARES has developed an advanced radar system known as ST radar or stratosphere troposphere radar. Radars have been proven to be excellent tools in measure various atmospheric parameters used for basic atmospheric research, weather forecasting and disaster management. Let us quickly understand what radar is before exploring the working of this system. Radar is an acronym for radio detection and ranging. In its simplest form, it consists of a transmitted radio signal aimed by an antenna in a particular direction and a receiver that detects the echoes of any objects in the path of the signal. The intensity of the received signal will be affected by weather conditions like wind and precipitation. This ways, the radar has the capacity to read the wind movement in the atmosphere. Let's explore the radar at Aries in a bit more detail. It is a pulse Doppler radar which means it measures the frequency, speed and direction of a moving object in the atmosphere, in this case the wind. The ST radar installed on the rooftop of Aries has 588 antennas arranged in equilateral triangular grid which means that whichever way one looks, the antennas are arranged in a straight line. This ensures that the radio frequency energy or RF energy is radiated properly. Each antenna has a director, folded dipole and a reflector which combines to ensure that the beam is directed to the desired direction. All these 588 transmit receive models also known as TRMs are hung from the rooftop. This is designed in such a way that the entire radar system is accommodated in a single building which saves space and cost in this difficult hilly terrain. The floor space can be used for the maintenance of the radar system. This is the first time in India and most probably in the world that such design has been successfully installed. The Nainital is very, very complex terrain. You can see it is difficult to 
find this such large space of 30 meter by 30 meter. So then again, we it is suggested to set up this radar over the building. So that is also totally indigenous. Like globally, people put the radar on the ground. So this again, for the first time, we put this such radar on the top of the building. Like on the rooftop, we have the antenna, and then middle floor we have the TR module hanging, and then ground floor we have the radar controller. So with this entire uniqueness, I will say it is totally uh, in independently made within the Indian system. All the TRMs radiate and receive the radio frequency at the same time. So it goes to the transit mode at the same time and comes back to the receive mode at the same time. The operation is controlled by the timing signal generation board TSG placed in each TRM. The feed from the TRM goes to the radar control room placed on the ground floor of the building. Here there are two softwares, the radar controller software and the signal processing software. The radar control software configures the radar operation of all the TRMs. The digital signal processing unit receives the signal which gives information about wind speed and direction. The information is again read scientifically to determine the behavior of the atmosphere and the wind pattern. The radar covers a horizontal distance of 50 kilometers and a vertical distance of nearly 20 kilometers, which helps in determining the weather change pattern in the middle or lower troposphere. The radar can operate for 24 hours. So, when we are uh, de depending on our interest, we are operating 24 hours. So, it can give the early warning system, like when we see this highly turbulent atmosphere is there. So, we can also alert the people and also the government. The ST radar operates at a frequency of 200 megahertz. This ST radar gives wind information regularly for 24 hours, 365 days in any weather condition. Aries feeds their data to other nodal organizations like IMD and ISRO so they can manage weather and disaster predictions for this region. The beauty of this project, I will say this is a totally indigenous project set, uh, set up here in collaboration with ISRO and this uh, radar was basically supplied or the installed and developed by the ECIL. And operation and maintenance of this radar is also being done by the totally uh, Aries uh, technical team, technical assistant. So I will say it is 100% Atman Nirbhar. With its unique geographical location and the state-of-the-art equipment, this laboratory has ensured that we get information in time to mitigate disasters varying from storms to air crashes in this area.